Welcome everyone, today we're going to talk about Daryl DK, the Orlando City Center for it, also US Men's National Team Center for it, that's been getting a lot of attention, so many of you requested. In this video, we'll dive into transfers, his background, stats. At the very end, I'll tell you what player he compares to, has a similar playing style to, and I'll tell you how I rate him. I work in Orlando City, uh, one of their youth head coach programs, so I do watch Daryl DK quite a bit. I'll let you guys know my opinion at the very end. But before we start, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you like videos where we analyze young players, American, South American, European, come down below the next one you want us to do, and we'll gladly do so. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Also, the setup will be back to normal very soon. I'm currently traveling, that's why we have this setup. We'll be back very, very soon, and we'll be doing US Men's National Team watch-alongs for whenever they play. Apparently the Serbia game is canceled. So now, let's roll the episode. start right away with transfers and there's not that many transfers rumors going on for him right now earlier in this month of January there were rumors that he would go to Club Bruges the Belgium League however Orlando City requested too much money around nine million dollars for Daryl DK Club Bruges didn't want to pay that they got a different center forward Daryl DK will stay with Orlando City for now and there's no other rumors of where he will go I personally think he would fit in the Premier League or the Serie A which are physical leagues I know many say that the Serie A isn't but with the success of Lukaku there we can see that a physical player does have space in that league now let's dive into his background Daryl DK is not really a product of Orlando City Youth Academy he actually came from the NCAA yes from college Daryl DK played in college for University of Virginia where he played two seasons he had 36 games 15 goals for the Virginia Cavaliers before getting drafted by Orlando City he had huge success during his sophomore season in 2019. Regina made it to the NCAA D1 championship game where Daryl DK scored a tying goal versus Georgetown to send it to extra time where Virginia would go on to lose on penalty kicks. He was then chosen NCAA Division I Men's Soccer Tournament Most Outstanding Player. From that, he entered the 2020 MLS Super Draft where he got drafted number 5, he was the 5th pick for Orlando City. Now let's dive into his bio and then I'll keep going with his stats of Orlando City and you know, you know the rest of the video. Daryl DK, born June 3rd of 2000. He's currently 20 years old. He's 1.87 meters tall. He's right footed, currently plays for Orlando City as a center forward. He has two nationalities according to transfer market, which is American, United States and Nigerian. His current market value is $3.3 million. Now, this is interesting because September of 2020, his market value was around 100,000. So that's a big increase in, in a matter of just a couple months. I wonder how much more it'll go around this year as he plays for the US Men's National Team and does well in the MLS. All right, so for Orlando City, Daryl DK only played one season so far and he has 22 games, eight goals and three assists already. Last season in the MLS regular season, he had 17 games, eight goals, three assists and he was the rookie, his very first season as a professional. On August of 2020, he was named MLS Player of the Month where he scored three goals and had two assists in five games. He's the first rookie in club history to score in each of his first two professional starts and it's the most goal scored in a rookie for Orlando since Kyle Lahren in 2015. I'll talk about Kyle Lahren very soon actually because he's very important for this video. All right so for the U.S. Men's National Team Daryl DK has no cap so far he also has not played at all for the youth U.S. Men's National Team however he is currently at the U23 January camp for the U.S. Men's National Team which is expected to play the Olympic qualifiers in March and if they qualify the Olympics he's also expected to play for that team the U23 squad. Now for the senior squad, he was called up for the MLS based camp last year when we played El Salvador and we won 6-0, but he got injured and he wasn't able to play that game. So we should see him getting games for the US men's national team very soon. Now let's go to the final section of the video where I'll rate him and I'll also tell you guys who he has a similar playing style to. And I mean, I guess I kind of said already in the video at this point. Hi, Pedro Parker here. And before Mr. Tactical starts rating Daryl DK, I want to tell you guys that with great powers comes great irresponsibilities. And you guys should have subscribed by now and hit the like button. Now let me bring Mr. Tactical back so he can talk about Daryl DK and how he rates him, but who cares actually? Actually, I'm back. Has anyone seen my tacos? All right. I'm truly sorry about Pedro Parker. He does show up the channel from time to time. I apologize in advance. Now he's eating tacos. He won't bother us anymore at this video. So who does Daryl DK compare to? What playing style? A lot of them say Josie Altidore. A lot of other sports analysts say Adriano the Emperor, the Brazilian center forward. 
but I actually think he plays a lot more like a former Orlando City player with a little more potential, but very similar to the Canadian center forward, sometimes winger, Kyle Lahren. Lahren also had a successful rookie season at Orlando City with 17 goals for Orlando during that season. They're both big bodies, they protect the ball very well, they get goals, but they do lack some technical abilities. His touch are not the best, along with his dribbling, and that's very similar to Kyle Lahren. So yeah, that's how I kind of think he looks like. He reminds me a heck lot of Kyle Lahren, the Canadian center forward. Now, if I had to rate him from one to five stars, as we do in this channel when we talk about young prospects, I'd rate him a 3.5. As I do think he does have a lot of potential, I don't think he'll be a world-class player, but I think he can be very important for the U.S. men's national team, as we don't have any center forwards with the same attributes as their DK. Now, what does he have to improve? He really needs to improve his positioning, his technical ability. He needs to have better touches. He needs to hold the ball a little close and dribbling. But in the box, as a brutal strength player, he's huge. He's, he's 220 pounds of pure muscle. He works. And that's how he got a lot of his goals last season for Orlando City. Plus, the way Orlando City plays does benefit him a lot, the tactical approach. Now, it's also very important to point out that he's 20 years old. He's six foot two, 222 pounds and he was named by FIFA the second strongest player in the world. Now, that's how he can be very useful for the US men's national team with his physical strength. As currently we have Josh Sargent leading the race and then maybe second we do have players such as Zardes, which I don't like too much. We also do have Matthew Hoppy emerging right now, which we should probably make a video about him. But I think Daryl DK brings something different to the table and I think he does have a great, great future of the US men's national team. Now, let me know how you guys rate Daryl DK let me know your thoughts on him and which video we should make next. What player do you want us to talk about? I want to thank you all very much for watching. I truly apologize for Pedro Parker. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, you know, and be with us for our next U.S. Men's National Team Watch Long. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day.